So hi guys, this is Varsha, and you're joining Master Main. So friends, in this session we are going to discuss the important questions from chemistry. That is, name the following type of questions which are important for your ICEC 2020 board examination. So please go through all these questions carefully. These are the type of questions which are mostly asked from the name the following type of questions in your board examinations. These are the type of questions which are mostly asked in your board examinations, and I have also made a video in which I have discussed name the following type of questions. That is the part one, and this is the part two of this video. So, if you have not watched the part one, so you can watch it from the link that is provided in the description box of this video. So, let us begin. So, this is not from an individual chapter; it is basically a combination of all the chapters. Let us begin with the question. So, the first question is the property possessed by metals by which they can be beaten into sheets. So, what is this property called? So, this is known as malleability, and this is from your metallurgy chapter. So, the answer is malleability. Malleability is the pro uh, property possessed by metals by which they can be beaten into sheets. Now moving on to the next question, that is question number two. A compound that is added to lower the fusion temperature of the electrolytic bath in the extraction of aluminium. So what is this compound called? So this is also from your metallurgy chapter again, and the compound that is added to lower the fusion temperature. This is called cryolite. So the formula of cryolite it is Na3Al. F six. So this is the formula of cryolite. You must remember the formula also. After that, moving on to the next question, that is question number three. You have to name a non-metal which is a good conductor of electricity. So a non-metal which is basically a good conductor of electricity, it is graphite. Question number four. You have to name the gas law which relates the volume of a gas to the number of mo molecules of the gas. So this is from your mole concept and the gas law. Which relates the volume of a gas to the number of no molecules of the gas. It is Avogadro's law. So it is Avogadro's law. After that, moving on to question number five. The question is the IUPAC name of acetylene. So the IUPAC name of acetylene it is ethyne. I have discussed this in one of my previous videos as well. The IUPAC name of acetylene it is known as ethyne. So this is also important. Now moving on to question number six. The electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom. So this is known as valence valence electron. Valence electron. The electrons that is present in the outermost shell of an atom, it is known as valence electron. Now moving on to question number seven. Name the catalyst that is used in the contact process. So the catalyst that is used in contact process, it is known as it is known as Vanadium pentoxide. It is vanadium pentoxide. So this is the answer. After that, moving on to question number eight. The question is name the most common ore of iron. So this is also repeated most of the time. The most common ore of iron. It is hematite. You must be knowing this. It is hematite, and it is also there in your geography as well. So you must be knowing the most common ore of iron. It is hematite. Now moving on to next question. That is question number nine. Name the organic compound containing COOH functional group. So the organic compound in which COOH is present as the functional group, it is carboxylic acid. It is carboxylic acid. And the next and the last question, which is very important, the formula that represents the simplest. Ratio of the various elements present in one molecule of the compound. So this is known as empirical formula. It is known as empirical empirical formula. So this is the answer. So friends, these are some of the questions which are important for your board examinations and which are most of the time asked in your board examinations from the name the following type of questions. And besides this, I am giving you one more question. So this answer you are going to write to us in the comment section. So question number 9 is name the organic compound containing COOH functional group so this is carboxylic acid but if we change the question and if it is the organic compound containing CHO as the functional group so what will be the answer you are going to write to us in the comment section and friends besides this if you want the pdf of this then then you can download the pdf from the link that is provided in the description box of this video so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind